Hi everyone, it's Jackie. I really want to have a party, party, party. Well, we are not having a party today, but we can still make a common Japanese party recipe. It is a sushi cake. Here we go. Here are the ingredients you will need. Rice, vinegar, sugar, salt, soy sauce, cucumber, egg, white sesame seed, green shiso leaves, sushi ginger, and smoked salmon. Wow, looks lots of ingredients. But don't worry, it's really easy to make it. First, yes, you have to cook rice. You can rice cooker if you prefer, but I usually make it in this cute pot. For the best flavor, I recommend using Japanese short grain sushi rice if you can find it in your area. After all, we are making sushi. When you cook Japanese rice, wash with the water two or three times or until the water stays clear after a quick stir. Today, I'm using two cups of rice, so I will need two cups of water to cook it properly. For the best results, let the rice soak in the water for about 30 minutes before cooking. To cook, start at the high heat. Once it starts boiling, reduce the medium heat and let simmer for 9 minutes. Okay, here is an important point. Don't open the cover right after heat is off. You should wait about 15 minutes to let rice steam. That helps make rice more fluffy and tasty. Next. Let's make one of the creations. This one is called Kinshi Tamago. It's a shredded garnish made from paper thin cooked egg. First, we make an egg break, and then cut into centurion strips. Usually, it is made with sugar and the dashi blossom and a little bit of soy sauce, but I like the natural flavor of good quality egg on their own. So, I'm going to do it my way. Egg is done, you can cool it down. Now let's make the flavored sushi rice mix. First, we need to make regular vinegar sushi rice and then spice it up. It is best to do the first part when the rice is hot. <laughs> Just toss in the liquid and mix in the pot. Easy! Today we are going to make a two layer of rice cake. So separate it into two bowls. And cool it down with hands. No, 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 no. Use something useful. Or just wait until it is cool enough to touch. Okay, wonder if I can cut everything with just a snap again. Oh, it worked! To finish the topping spread, just thinly slice the egg, green shiso, and fine chop the sushi ginger. If you want to learn how to make sushi ginger, you can check out my video about it. Sometimes kids don't like ginger, so you can always leave it out to make sure everyone enjoys this dish. In one of the bowls, add the sushi ginger and about one third of white sesame and give it a good mix. In another bowl, Add one third of the sesame, about half the green shiso, and give it a mix. Now, 
We have two colors of sushi rice to make our cake with. Okay, time to build and decorate sushi cake. First, we carefully place the smoked salmon into a stir pattern to give the cake a beautiful top. Yes, the main part of the cake is built upside down. Next, make a layer with half the white rice mix. Being careful to not damage the salmon layout. Lightly place with a rice scoop to flatten it all out. Repeat this process to make a green shiso flavored rice mix layer and another white rice mix layer if you still have some left. For the bottom of cake, cover with a sliced cucumber. Hold the plastic wrap over and give it a final press by hand into the mold to make sure it has a nice smooth shape. For plating, we need to flip it over. The easiest way is to put the plate on it upside down and flip both the mold and flat back over. Carefully, cut to release the cake from the mold and... Ta-da! To finish making this beautiful, nicely place all the toppings in a pattern you like and sprinkle with some white sesame seed. And we are done! A wonderful and healthy Japanese party treat! If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe for lots of more great tips and recipe ideas. Please leave a comment below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye! Yummy! Yummy! Our next recipe is a zucchini pasta, zoodle. So make sure to watch the next video to learn how to make it. See you then!